Hey guys, it's Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the four most common exceptions to the electric configuration. And those four elements are rectangled out here. They're chromium, copper, MO, and silver. Let's take a look at chromium. We'll start by writing out the expected electric configuration according to Oppel's rule. So it'll be argon, 4s2, 3d4. You see there's 2 in the 4s and then 3 in the 4d. But in reality, it's 4 argon 4s1 3d5 and the reason for that is because let, let's draw out the ex, expe, expected one so 4s2 3d4 um, the reason why it's 4s1 3d5 is so we take one of the 4s's and then we bump it up to the 3d that makes the the element more stable because half filled subshells and fully filled subshells are more stable so this is half filled and then this is half filled. So that's better than what it was before. So for all these these four elements that I have I have rectangled out here, just take one of the S electrons and bump it up to D electrons. Let's take a look at how that applies to copper. So copper normally, you would expect that to be argon 4s2, 3d9, but we know it's one of the exceptions. So we take one of these electrons and then we bump it up over here. So it becomes 4s1, 3d10. For MO, the expected electric configuration is uh, krypton, 5s1, 4, 5s2, 3d4. Take one of the s electrons and bump it up. So then you get 5s1, 4d5, and then silver, same, same rule. So the expected one is argon, 5s2. 3d9, take one of the s electrons, bump it up to d, so it becomes 5s1, 3d10. And the reason for all of this is because the half-filled subshell and fully-filled subshells are more stable. So you can see that in all these cases, the s's are, are half-filled, and then for the copper and silver, it's the d is fully-filled, and then for the mo, it's half-filled, and also for uh, chromium, it's half-filled. And, and those are the four most common exceptions to electric configuration. There are, there are a couple more, but you'll probably only see these four in a high school chemistry or general chemistry class in college. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.